What is up? Bill here. Thank you for stopping by to check out my latest video. On my latest trip to my local coin shop, I went to go buy some 10 ounce bars that he had, 10 ounce silver bars. And he said, Bill, I got a couple of things here you might like. He gave me a, uh, a one tenth gold double eagle, which I bought. And he showed me this 1860. 19 or 1860 uh, five francs uh, which I thought looked pretty cool uh, got it for 90 bucks and uh, I don't have any coins like it so I thought okay that looks pretty cool I'll, I'll take that so the first thing I did was bring it home and put it on the old trusty uh, Sigma, which I have right here. Um, let's see, we've got gold 91.7, and we've got, I'll go back to gold, uh, pure gold 3.9, 91.7, okay, gold 90% balance CU. Okay, so we got 90%. I'll pull up Coin Snap and show you what Coin Snap told me about the coin. It is uh, composition 0 0.900 gold um, so I would think I'd get a good reading let's hit the run cow begin play sample and look at that right off the scale I was kinda shocked when that happened I wasn't expecting that right smack dab off the scale so wow okay now what what other options do I have to test gold here? Let's see. Uh, gold American Eagle, Gold Krugerrand, Gold 98.6, uh, Gold Britannia. There's a 90%. Let's try that. Uh, let's see what happens. Right smack off the scale. I mean, completely off the scale. Usually when I see that, it means I'm dealing with a bogus coin. So, what other options do we have? That's it. That's as far down as it goes. So, I'm getting a, a bad reading with the Sigma. Um, <clears throat> that kind of throws me off. Now, granted, it is a or 1860 French coin. Um, but it does have... Uh, it does have gold weight to it of... Oh, I can't find it. I wrote it down somewhere what the actual gold weight is. It's just shy of, uh, okay, 1.47 grams of gold. Now, the coin weighs 1.629, or it should weigh uh, 1.629 grams. So there's a lot of gold there. You would think that would test positive. So what do we do? Well, I'm going to open it up and test it. Uh, I'm going to take it out of this container. And we're going to do some weight, some measurements, and let's see. I'm going to try not to destroy the uh, little container it's in because I'd like to put it back if it tests good. Uh, he had some things written on here. He had uh, he had 1860, uh, one point can't read that 829 grams uh, 90 <clears throat> 90 percent 90 AU point 90 AU and uh, 4.71 so let's just I don't know I'm gonna I'm just gonna do the old-fashioned test and let's see what we come up with I can restaple this back together once I get the coin out assuming it tests valid and I got this from a local dealer that I like and I trust so I'm sure that <clears throat> it would probably test fine on an x-ray or one of those $20,000 machines but I just would have thought I would have got a gold reading off the uh, Sigma let's see where does it open at okay it opens slide it out of there now let's see come on oh there it goes okay we got it out so 
All right. Let's put the scale out. Now, according to CoinSnap, it should weigh 1.6 grams. So, we'll turn the scale on and we'll put it on the scale. And it weighs 1.7. Okay. So, it should be 1.629. Everything I'm seeing, it should be 1.629, so it's weighing a little heavy. Uh, that's just a tad heavy. Uh, 1.7. All right. According to Coin Snap, the diameter should be 16.7. So let's zero out the caliber. It's exactly 16.7. So we got the right diameter. Now, coin snap doesn't give the thickness of this coin, but I did find a reference uh, that does, and it should be 0 0.5 millimeters thick. So let's check the thickness. It's exactly 0 0.5. So thickness is right. Diameter's right. Uh, it's a little heavy. Well, I'm getting 1.6 now, so maybe it's not a little heavy. Uh, I mean, everything looks good. I mean, okay. So what else is there to test? Let's try gravity. Let's do a gravity test. Just happen to have a cup of water here, and we're going to tear out the scale to zero. And now we're going to dip the coin. Let's write down <clears throat> the weight. I'm going to go with 1.6 because I got 1.6 in the last two and it should be 1.629. So we're going to go with weight 1.6. And now let's find out what the density is. I'm going to put the coin in this little contraption here. And, well, maybe. I think I made the knot too big. Okay. There we go. We've got the coin suspended. Well, no, we don't have the coin suspended. But I get the feeling it's going to drop and fall into the cup. Alright, let's see what we get when we suspend the coin. Nothing. It's not heavy enough to make a difference on this scale. I've really got to get a scale that will read 0 .00 instead of 0 .0. I'm not even getting a measurement, so I'm not going to be able to do this test at all. Um, let me just make sure it's teared. Try it one more time. This coin is so small it's not even registering. So, absolutely nothing. So I guess I can't even do a gravity test. I don't know guys and gals, what do you think? Um, I can't do a gravity test. So, you know what I can do? I wonder if that plastic has any effect on the Sigma. It shouldn't. Let's dry it off and try testing it directly right on the coin itself. And I don't think it's going to make a difference, but we'll try it. So I can't do a density test <clears throat> or gravity test, but I know that the weight, diameter, and thickness are right. So is this a valid coin? I would think so. But the question is, why doesn't it show up on the Sigma? Uh, let's go to gold 90% again, 90%, and try it without the... And it goes slam off the scale again, right off the scale. So, I don't know guys. I don't know if I have a legit coin or not. Uh, I've been in contact with the, <clears throat> with the coin guy I got it from, and I'm going to take it back this weekend I've got some actual uh, quarter ounce gold double eagles coming in uh, tomorrow or Saturday 
So I'm actually doing an unboxing of those when I get them. I'm pretty excited about those quarter ounce, or quarter ounce gold eagles. But he's going to test it on his Sigma Pro. Uh, I've looked at it under a loop. I mean, it looks legit. Uh, I mean, it should be 22 karat gold. I wonder if I can do a scratch test on it and see. You know what? Let's just try it. It's not a graded coin. Let me get my scratch test uh, that I use for jewelry and see what happens. I actually use this when I'm testing fine jewelry, but I can test up to 24 karat gold. So I'm just wondering, just out of curiosity, uh, let me get the 22 karat gold test asset out. And there we go. There's 22 karat. Let's just go ahead and try it. I hate to scratch the coin, but it's not graded. And I do want to know if this is real gold or not. So let's just get get a little scratch there I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit better I'm gonna put some 22 karat acid on that scratch and see if it stays put if it disappears that puppy is staying put no doubt about it uh, It is definitely staying put. So, okay, it does look like it is. It is definitely 22 karat gold, no doubt about it. So, my conclusion here, I'm gonna put a little 18 karat on the bottom of it there just to watch it. My conclusion is that on older Spanish and French coins, um, maybe they used different inert metals. Uh, see the 18 and the 22 is still there, so I think we're good. Uh, it's definitely gold. I'm just thinking that maybe on these older coins, uh, I mean, it's what, 160 years old nearly? Uh, maybe they use different inert metals when they mix their gold. I mean, I've looked at it under a loop real carefully and I don't see any discoloration in the scratches. Uh, it all looks solid. So in any event, what are your thoughts? What do you think? I'd love to hear. Uh, yeah, there's no doubt about it. It's gold. So, okay. Well, I'm happy. It is gold. Um, according to uh, according to the melt uh, according to Coin Snap, the melt the melt rate is like 98 bucks. I paid a hundred dollars for it. So. It's gold. I'm happy. I'm going to put it in my gold stack uh, with my miscellaneous gold pieces. And that's going to about do it for this video. Thanks for bearing with me and uh, <laughs> following me through the process here to determine whether or not we've got real gold. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts in the comments section. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you next time. So long.